Hi, I'm Jade Nelson, and today I'm going to lead you through a self-care routine that focuses on people that work at an office and are sitting at a desk all day. Today, people are sitting for longer periods of time than they used to, and especially when we work at a desk. So we have issues with our wrists, our arms, all those things. So we're gonna go over some things that will help you. So for neck and shoulders, um, it's important. Our posture is extremely important. We wanna roll our shoulders here. Let's roll them a few times. Let's do about 10 together. We'll roll back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's take it forward now. So you want to open up that chest a little bit because we're very concave right like this when we're sitting so you want to open it up and imagine you're dropping your shoulders and sliding them into your back pockets and take a deep breath because you're going to be able to open it up in here so now relaxing those shoulders down i want you to drop your right ear to your right shoulder and hold it there for a few counts to breathe. If you'd like to hold it longer than I do, go ahead and pause the video and then start it up when you're ready again. But you should feel a nice stretch through here. And then take a deep inhale as you're coming up and exhale over. And hold this one. This one might be tighter than the other side. And again, feel free to pause the video and hold it. And when you're ready, you can push play again. And we'll inhale up nicely. Now this time, you're gonna slightly turn your head to the right and drop your chin down. This time, you should feel the stretch through here. And hold that as long as you need. Slowly rotate back to center, inhale deeply, and exhale turning. And then slowly drop the chin on this side. Again, hold as long as you need. You will feel the stretch through here again. And pause the video if you need to, if you'd like to hold it for a longer period of time. shoulders back and drop them down. Now we're going to add a little bit of the massage in, right? So we've warmed things up. So take your hands here and place them on the back of your neck. And okay, we're going to start at the base of your skull at the top here. If you have earrings like me and you're wearing them at work, it might be a good idea to take them off and they won't get in the way. So we'll start massaging in a circular motion, working our way down. And then you can slowly work your way back up. And go ahead at your own pace. And then slowly, once you're at the top, just slowly pull. It's like you're pulling the muscles off the spine. And go up and down nice and slow. Then go ahead and take your thumbs like so and place them at the base of your skull. Sometimes it will be very tender here Put a little pressure there and in circular motions. We can carry a lot of tension here because our heads are tipped down looking at our computers or our cell phones. And circular motions and then slowly pulling out towards the ears. And use as little or as much pressure as it feel comfortable for, feels comfortable for you. And then slowly release and roll those shoulders a little bit. And so you'll see that our chests tend to roll in and concave because we're sitting for long periods. It's important, as I've said, to open up the chest. So another massage of massage technique is to take your four fingers and just imagine just pushing 
the chest muscles back, like a stripping motion. And you can do that on both sides. You can do it for maybe five times, 10 times, and do it on both sides comfortably. And use as much or as little pressure as you want, whatever feels good. And then do it both at the same time in a circular motion. And just find those sore spots. You may find that you're more sore in other areas. If you want, you can take your thumbs and place them right here. It can be very tender. Just hold that and remember to breathe. Deep inhale and exhale. So the last thing we're gonna do for the chest as an opener is to interlock your fingers behind and pull down, opening up the chest. So I just felt a little pop in my spine that felt really good. So you can hold this for a few breaths. You can pause the video and hold it for even longer than a few breaths, whatever feels comfortable. And then you can release it slowly. So now we're going to move on to forearms. This is really important because when you're sitting at a computer desk like this, it can get very sore. So I'm gonna grab a table because it's very key. So working at a desk, sometimes our, our forearms can get really tight from typing on the computer. So another technique for self-massage is you can place this forearm here. If you feel like your desk isn't level enough and you're doing this motion, um, you can grab a book and place it un underneath your forearm, like I have underneath this. Give it a little more um, level and so you're not hunching. And then go ahead and take your other arm and use your elbow to put a little pressure in these sore spots you'll find. And you can hold it there as long as you need it. Maybe it won't, won't be long at all. Maybe you'll feel a little tension and then it'll release immediately. And then you'll work your way to finding other sore spots. And then we'll switch and do the other arm. You always gotta make sure it's even. And you will find, depending on if you're right-handed or left, one might be tighter than the other. And remember, at any point, feel free to pause the video and work a little bit longer than I am showing at this time. And as always, remember to breathe deeply. It will help release the muscles a little bit more. Once you've done both sides to the point where you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and um, stretch your arms out in front of you like so. So I'm gonna start with my left. And you're gonna go ahead and take your thumb and place it up here at the elbow. And you're gonna slowly just strip it down like you're squeezing water out. Imagine it's like this towel that's all tied up and you're wringing it out. And just strip it all the way down to your wrist. And you can do this one time, three times, five times, as many as it feels comfortable for you. can go ahead and flip your hand and do it on the back side here. If you feel like it's too difficult, you can go ahead and add a little lotion and that will help. But when you're at work, you can't always do that. If you find a spot that's a little tender, like I have right here, put a little extra pressure maybe hold it for a few minutes. And as always, flip and do the other side. I say at least three times. And then go ahead and shake them out, move those fingers around. And we're gonna move on to the wrists now. So you're always bent like this sometimes, working on the computer like this, and it's always like compacting things right here. People can get carpal tunnel, all kinds of things. So let's start with some wrist rotations. Going one way, I'd say about five times, and then the other. And you might hear some cricking and cracking and snapping. And then your hands out and expand the fingers, stretch them all. So everything gets really tight in the hand fists and I'm going to do that about three times here but feel free to do as many as you want pause that video and just do it a few more times and then release 
shake it out a little bit, and then flip your hand over, and we're gonna do some slow stripping in the palm of the hand. Just all over. You can do this for a few minutes. If you find a sore spot, hold it. Just a nice little massage. Pull the fingers out. And then switch to the other side and do the same thing. Just get some blood flow going there. Find a sore spot, hold it, and then pull out a little bit here. And as a little side note, if you're sitting at work and you have a headache, this is perfect right here for as a trigger point for headaches. It helps. You can just massage it. And both, arm, both hands do that. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope it helped you. You know, keep in mind that the best thing is to get out of that chair a couple times a day, go for a 10 or 15 minute walk. But if this is all you can do in the day, it's better than nothing, right? With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.